Hey guys, Shongli here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to put your Panasonic GH5 with a speed booster and the Sigma 18 to 35 f1.8 and with a servo focus on your Zion Crane 2. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button here below. I have a special giveaway on my birthday next month on June 3rd. I'll be giving away one year free subscription to Adobe's Creative Cloud apps. And yeah, make sure you be subscribed to have a chance to win it. Main thing first is the plate on the bottom of your camera. Make sure that it's all the way to the back. This is the Mephoto plate. But uh, yeah, you can see it. you need to go all the way to the back with this screw. And also uh, look out not to hit one of the rings here. I've actually got uh, like a, a gearless focus or a seamless focus ring. So I'm going to put this on the gimbal. I've already have mounted this part of uh, the gimbal or actually this extra part for the follow focus. So we're actually going to use the servo follow focus also because with the 18235, uh, you don't get really good autofocus with this. So, especially with a dump adapter, you really need to have the servo, servo focus to enable you to focus well. So, first of all, take off the lens cap because that will change the weight a bit. And we can actually put it on here. Actually, first mess up this a little bit because otherwise, be too perfect already because I already have put it on here so mess up the weight here a little bit so actually I'm going to first put, uh, first put this servo on here one thing you do need to do is flip this around you can actually uh, when you unscrew this part you can actually mount it also other way around but we're going to have the circle on the inside here instead of on the other side the reason for that is that uh yeah there is a i need to mount it that way to enable me to just reach the focus ring with this so. Put it like here put camera on here and also some of you probably would like actually the screen flipped out I personally like that also with the Panasonic's and putting it on because this size is so weird we need to put it in quite a weird position so if you can see we're going to put it in like this And might also be something that Zion can change, but probably if they change this to a 45 degree angle, we can put the camera in here much easier. So, yeah, so first, actually, so first to balance it, we need to put it like this so we can get that balance, and also can also to actually first do this balance so it's slightly balanced correctly here actually make sure that this is actually hitting the focus ring otherwise it doesn't do much and also we need to have the wire installed because that is also weight so Here, cable and cable that goes into here on the top or here in, on the inside. So we have now everything on here. Now we need to balance it. So let's balance this left right here first because that's quite easy for now. balance this here this way so we have this screw 
here and tighten it now hold it like this and just move it and you will find like a spot where it should not fall to a change falling to the other side or not fall anymore so oh, that's change that may be too much now it's holding position uh, tighten that now we need to move this camera forward or backwards so it's now more to the back This one on the back here we can change. So right now this is correct, so it does stay in place. Now the back one again. So this screw. So it's moving too much to this side, so we move the arm to this other side. So what you are searching for on the back is that it needs to slightly move when it moves back that it actually stops in the middle because you can't have it in the same kind of uh, one as this one that it stays in one position so don't really have to get it perfect for the back one just slightly enough okay okay so that's the back one now we do the bottom one so you can see for the bottom it's here it's angled like this so we need to unscrew this screw here and move it more of there got it so now it's all balanced and turn it on now we can use it however one thing you do notice here on the back we don't have that much room to play with so it all hits the eyepiece when we move this to here so you can't really hold this into an angle this you need to hold it quite straight and we can't go to like an upside down mode that's like the only downside on this working quite well and actually you can hear the motors working overload because i think this is still set on high uh, for actually for when i was using it for the C100 so we're going to change the motor to medium and now it's better okay so this setting we don't need it to be on high we just need it to the motor setting on medium the rest is actually working quite well I can do follow focus with this get the focus ring nicely rotating yeah that was mainly it how to mount the Panasonic GH5 with the focus controller or the servo focus on the Zion or Zion Crane 2 so I hope you guys find this video quite interesting and uh, quite educational if you haven't subscribed yet hit that subscribe button here below and I'll see you guys the next time bye bye